That's good. Right. All right. What up? What up? What up? Let's uh get this party started. Let me see. You get everything all locked in. Oops. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to our Tuesday night to class. Uh, if you guys are new to class, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Today, I am excited because we've been spending a lot of time working on our butterfly guard, and now we are migrating into our butterfly leg entanglements. I know everybody loves um, So this is going to be a fun series because we're actually going to work on this all week this week. So we're doing different entanglements. We're going to build a progressive series. We're going to build in the rolls, and today we are going to get into some uh, drills on how to offset the balance because that's part of the big thing with the uh, entanglements from any position, really, is understanding how to get the offsets in butterfly guard. So today I have CJ with me. I have Roman, and we are going to do some really cool drills. So again, guys, if you guys are watching on Instagram, what's up, everybody? Make sure you guys tune in and log into the YouTube channel. That way you guys don't miss any of the techniques. These videos do stay up online. And then we add in all the videos, the breakdowns, so you guys. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a good little leg uh, flow drill as a warm-up for us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow CJ. Okay, all we're gonna do, this is gonna be like uh, in wrestling, how uh, wrestling a basic drill is we pummel. We pummel, we pummel, we pummel, we pummel. But a good way for us to understand leg locks is to pummel with the legs. Now this is a drill that's a progressive drill series, and um, I can do a full breakdown video of this later on. Uh, just a so what we're gonna do is, okay, what we're gonna do is we're literally without hands, we are going to pummel our legs. So we're going to basically going to try to get leg locks without our hands. Eventually, we'll get into full on um, more mobility drills and movement. But we're just going to come right here. I want us to basically flow and try to get inside to leg entanglement. So if I come here, boom. Now the other person is going to thread through that way so we can constantly keep moving the hips. I can drill to get loose. There's no right or wrong with this. Oh, yeah. So like, what he's saying is our other drills circling our legs big um, in and out, right? Same thing. So what I'm going to do, guys, watch this. I want to work to get inside controls here. Okay, if I get a triangle or a, or a cross leg entanglement on either side, perfectly okay. But that's my goal for right now. My goal is to get inside, and then I thread through. One foot's going to come in. Look at this. I'm hooking. I'm going to go this way. Boom. Okay. My goal is to make sure I'm pulling in, and I'm coming here. And the better you guys get at this, the more you guys can actually build up and it can pick up the speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of flow with this, okay? So we're going to give and take. So I'm going to grab some in. I'm going to pull it in. Lock. Boom. He's going to disengage by threading his leg through and going into his own table. Okay, so it works. Yep. From here, boom. Here. Okay, just keep going. Yep, back and forth, back and forth. Ready, ready. Here, good. It's like an adult version of patty cakes. Little flow drill, and then I'm gonna show you the next step of this where we can pick up the intensity. We're almost feeling like we're really fighting for legs. All right, 30 more seconds, gentlemen. Aren't they cute, everybody? They are cute. All right, time. Okay, so now, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into more of a full in-depth flow drill. I'm gonna just roam on this one. So now one person, I'm allowed to sit up and move around all directions. Okay, again, there's no real right or wrong on this one. This is more about just getting in the entanglement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working in these positions I'm gonna work. I'm really gonna start sitting up. I'm gonna come here. I can come on top. I'm gonna work for pulling tables. Okay, so all we're gonna do is flow around the same thing. But now I'm gonna try to actually get in the leg locks. 
Okay, so we're gonna fight around. We're here. Okay, we're gonna work. We're gonna work flowing. There's my opening. There it is. Boom. Flowing. There it is. Boom. Okay, I wanna actually get into these entanglements. Here, pulling out. No hands, Roman. Good. Good. Get out of it. No hands. Good. There you go. So now I'll let these guys flop around a little bit. Let's go. <laughs> People are saying the connection's bad. Is it still bad, guys? Let me know. Um, is it bad on the Instagram or is it just bad on the uh, YouTube? Because <laughs> it's not giving me any, uh, any um, errors on the YouTube channel. So let me know, guys. Oh, they're saying it's better now. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, time. So now they're done flopping around. Um, don't worry. That wasn't just bad connection. Um, that's just them being bad at the drill. Okay? All right. So, all right. What we're going to do, guys, we're here to get into offsetting our, um, our opponents. Okay? For us to hit the entanglements from the butterfly guard, um, the main thing that's going to help us really get into entanglements is offset, offsetting our opponents. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with rolling. I'm going to do different angles so you guys can see this. Again, this is going to be another drill just to get in first, and then we're going to start off with, uh, with ankle lock attacks, okay, for ankle breaks, for you IDJJF guys. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to get my opponent or partner off to one side. Boom. Now, once I do this, though, look at this, how his leg's coming up. I'm going to pull this leg in, okay? I'm going to grab my ankle, his ankle, and I'm going to kick this leg through. Boom, to my option. Okay, Ashi, it's also my outside entanglement. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sit up. I'm gonna come right back. So I'm gonna do the other leg now. Okay, so again, now, if I want this leg, I'm gonna lay this way. I'm inside high, I'm gonna lay this way. Watch this, guys. As I lay, I pull this up. You guys see that? My hand's gonna come off the inside bicep. I'm gonna grab the ankle. I'm gonna kick my leg through right into the tip. Okay, now I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. Keep it here. I do have ankle, I do hooks, but I'm going in for control right now. This is all I want. Okay, so again, I'm going to go from this angle. Here. I'm going to lay, I'm going to pull this foot up, guys. So the side that I fall to, the opposite leg is the one that I'm going to redirect. Here, it's this. Okay, look at his ankle. His ankle is exposed. I'm going to go from the inside high, I'm going to grab that ankle. That way this leg can kick through. Okay, this leg that kicks through, I'm gonna come right to his hip and I'm gonna stretch it. Stretch. Okay, we can sit up and do attacks here. I can come in with cross locks here, right? There's a lot of attacks. But I need to understand this position first. Okay, inside high, I'm gonna lay. Boop. Look at that leg comes up. This hand's gonna pull off the bicep, straight to the ankle. Pull. My foot, stay up, stay up, stay up. My foot goes on the inside of his, uh, his hip, and I'm just gonna stretch it. Boom. Okay, I'm staying here. This is gonna allow, allow me to have a top side control and an outside ashi oh, while I'm here. Okay, we're gonna get in his straight ankle locks first. Okay, there's a lot of pressure, and if I wanted to finish as I could, but there's other ways for us to actually make it more secure, because there's ways for him to get out of this. Okay, so here's the drill. We're gonna go left side, right side. I'm gonna inside tie, lay to the left, lift, grab the ankle, kick it through, hip, stretch. Come up, right back to butterfly. I'm gonna go the other side. Boom. Okay, I grab the ankle, my foot goes to the hip, I stretch. Okay, you get it so you can see this. And for me, guys, I actually love to use this drill. I sit like this. And I want people to try to start, start to pass. Because in order for him to pass, look, he's already coming in closer to me. 
And as soon as I direct his body one direction, that leg's up now. Whoop. And I have my entanglements. Okay, I have my outside option. Okay, so here. Inside tight, here's the drill. I'm gonna lay to my right, lift my right, left leg up, grab the ankle, keep it through, lock it here. Stretch. About to hit here. Disengage, you want to come back up. I want to do this ten, uh, five on each side. Five on each side. You got it? Five on each side, guys. Let's go. If you guys got questions on this, this is an awesome drill just for understanding that basic Ashi position. Get into a few ways to finish the straight ankle break from here. And then we're going to evolve this into uh, heel entanglements, uh, uh, knee breaks, and all that kind of good stuff. How's that feel? Smooth, right? It's, just, it's, it's not one of those things you have to understand too much about it other than getting that leg up. What we are going to focus on is understanding how to pinch um, at that knee line because if you let their knee line come, they're going to be able to escape this position. Stretch. Good. Now, before you stretch, I want to have that security of the ankle. That's very important, guys, making sure that you guys have that security on the ankle before you Zoom classes. That way I can actually see you guys doing this stuff live if that would be something of interest to you. Scoot down, guys. Five on each side, guys. I'm, I love leg entanglement days with Roman because anything that I can get him to squeal are phenomenal days. What are you talking about? Wow. See what happens? Tries to go fake alpha. This is how I always talk. <laughs> partner. <laughs> this is how I always talk there, partner. We're doing five on each side, guys. Five on each side. And my apologies for all my horrible jokes. This is just the way that I teach. It's preparing since he's about to be a daddy. Yeah. I mean, now, now that I've got a, a son coming in a couple weeks, I gotta get all these dad jokes out of the way, you know? Out of the way. Or not out of the, in the way, I should say. They, they are gonna be they are gonna be the new normal. Yeah, working, man. I, I would be lying though if I didn't say I'd do them anyways. So I don't want you to grab the knee, I want you to grab the ankle. That way so you can kick your leg through. Because we're gonna secure the ankle, not the knee in the beginning. Yeah, there you go. See how much easier that is? Perfect. Perfect. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying healthy. I know these days are tough. Hey, but at least we can get together and do some leg lock training, do some jiu-jitsu flowing. You know, that's what this is really about. <laughs> I love best jokes and best jokes. That is such a jiu-jitsu dad joke. Yeah, that is a jiu-jitsu dad joke, isn't it, Mitch? Is that five on three sides? Yeah. Four on my All right, go ahead. Nice. Hope you guys are liking this warm-up drill on how to get in the outside Ashi. Ah, I need to secure the ankle. There you go. Before you kick the leg through, we have to secure that ankle. Because when you secure the ankle, it's going to allow me to kick that leg straight through for security. We always want to make sure we're positionally aware and connected before we go on to the next position. That's not, that's not the ankle. It'll make sense when we get into this. Because if we go to the knee line first, guys, and we're doing for a straight ankle lock, we're, we're adjusting too many uh, positions. <laughs> All right, cool. So now, let's get into some actual, uh, some, some breaking mechanics. All right, so I'm gonna start with Roman on this one because I know everybody wants to see Roman go on this one first. At least I do. I don't know how you guys feel, but I know I do. All right, so. Where am I inside tie? I'm gonna go through two different ankle breaks, okay? So, I'm gonna lay on one side down here where I'm laying. When I break this into a you grab it here. I wanna grab the ankle because that way I pull, I pull control of it. Because when I push him forward, watch this guy, and I stretch, look, I'm gonna slide right into my straight ankle lock. Okay, and this is for you IBJDF guys. Now, one thing I wanna focus on is making sure my foot is out, okay? Um, I want to make sure that that way so my heel is pointing towards the belly button 
and I'm pinching my knees together at his knee line. I'm gonna change angles so you guys can see this. Because what I'm gonna do is I can't, but this is gonna be tight, right? But there's gonna be some details like I'm gonna So, I'm here, I'm laying, boom. Look guys, when I grab this here, my knee is already across the thigh. That's why this is really important. So when I stretch here, I'm gonna put this right here. Look at my heel. My heel goes right across his hip line. Boom, it's right here. My foot is flat on his belly and it's and almost like his ribs. And my knee is almost at my heel. Okay, so this is locked in and tight. The ankle lock as a control. That's it. Okay, I'm sitting up now. From here, now he falls on his back like this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna lay on the side and I'm just gonna here, right? But watch what I'm gonna do for the adjustment. I'm gonna scoop my hips slightly out and I'm gonna lay on that blade. And I wanna make sure I make a fist with his bottom hand. Making a tight fist. Boom, you, you feel that already, right? So if I'm loose here, is that tight? Sorry, how about that? Right, and that's me just making, sorry. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna grab that top side grip like I would a guillotine. And remember, I'm, lay, I'm putting my weight on that ankle. I want this blade right across that bone. I'm making that fist, now watch this. Okay, and that's without putting any pressure. I mean, I'm pulling it. I'm more uh, creating uh, to be tight. I'm removing the space, okay? So, so you guys can see this. I'm just gonna show the foot mechanics. Lay the back one. So when I'm here, guys, that I grab. If it's a choke, I pledge allegiance to choking this man unconscious. If it's a break from here, I pledge allegiance to break his man's leg. Right? And this is just control. All this is allowing me to control. Now, watch this, guys. When I make that fist, that is locked into place. That bone is now digging in. But if I'm here, is that tight? Kind of tight, but how about this? Much tighter. Much tighter. Right, how about when the elbow is out like that? Watch this, and I pull it tight here. So now, when I bring my knee across this thigh here, and I'm laying on the Ashi side. You guys can see my hand here. Watch this. Fist. All right. Now I'm gonna lay on his ankle. Look how his back starts to bow. That's from the pressure that this is creating. Now when I add the second hand, I go top side grip, and look. Crazy tight. Now, a lot of times we miss we miss the, uh, the the sweet spot of this, right? What's really cool is I had somebody years ago tell me that they would never tap through straight ankle lock. They said it was just pain, and that it wouldn't snap the ankle. And then when I started developing um, my my foot lock with a couple different friends of mine, we realized that if you think on this leg I am, and that's one handed. Now, when I get that top side grip. This is me all, look at, look how high I am. This is halfway up on the leg. Okay, so if I take that same mechanics, I'm gonna slide down. If I'm here, this is my security blanket. I come here and now it's even tighter. Right, I get the top side grip, lay, and that's what I break here. Okay, it's the same thing as when I do my headlock systems. I'm here. And I'm gonna stretch. Okay. Okay, if I'm this way, a lot of people like to do it this way. I think I, I don't think that there's enough pressure here. I mean, I can make adjustments. I would rather lay on the object, just like when I do my headlock system. I like to have it uh, conform to the same way I do I choke people. So if I can't choke people like this, I wanna lay on the object that I'm choking. Okay. Moment's turn. Okay, so we're here. Inside ties, okay? I'm gonna lay it to the outside. Pull that leg in. Grab his ankle, pull it through. From here, I'm gonna place this on the hip. Then I stretch, and I, as I sit up, I lock this in. Pledge allegiance, lock the top side grip, and I'm gonna lay to the side that I wanna, I wanna lock to. Because remember, just like the headlock system, I wanna lay on it. Here, here. Now he makes that sound good, doesn't he? Okay, that's attack number one. Now we have our opposite side attack. 
that when I sit up here, I can thread this arm under. Okay? I'm gonna lock it right here. Now, this is when I do go back. Okay? Under to the bicep. Because now when I sit back, it's going straight into that ankle. One. Right? Show it to him. <laughs> CJ's getting me because he's laughing. Right. So look, I'm in my Ashi. I'm in my control stage, right? You can call this the control stage. I'm gonna take my free hand here and I'm gonna see this space right here I can elevate. I'm gonna take my inside. This is this IBKDF legal, guys. Boom, white belt, do it. I'm here. Now, I'm gonna rear naked choke my own bicep and it's already dirty, right? Now watch this. It's not nice. If I wanna lay on it, it's all there too. And then we can start getting into our, our, heel, our knee breaks and all that kind of good stuff. But we're going to start off just with our ankle locks, okay? So I want to see two ankle locks right now. I want to see ankle lock number one from the Ashi, from the Pledge of Allegiance. And then we're going to do the thread through and hit the, uh, the, the far side arm. Okay, you want to sit right back on? Yeah, the first one you lay on. The second one we're going to sit back on. Questions? Questions? All right, let's go. I want two on each leg, guys. Two on each leg. Question. What's up, Wasabi? Um, your question is, when you take the submission, you got to put it on... Make the fist first. There you go. Now lay on it. Woo. They went from wrist locks last week to ankle locks this week. It is getting dirty. Yes, it is. All right, Roman, your turn. Inside grips, good. Nice. Stuff, good. Basic entries into these positions. There's so many different ways and variations that we can do, but this is a good opening entry series for us to get into these ankle locks. Forward. There you go. The other I'd, I'd have to see it. Instead of his book being under the yeah, other, behind, his book is under the far side. On the far side, it should be on the near side. Yeah. Yeah. Should be on that side. Good. 
All right, cool. So now, now that we understand how that drill works, let's see about going straight into our ankle locks. So a lot of times we're playing these positions, and I like to start dragging. I'm coming here, I'm snapping his head down, he doesn't want me to snap his head down, his posture's up. That's gonna allow me to come in. I might not always be able to get inside, but as long as I get inside, I pull him on top of me. That's it. We did these drills last week, right? Our elevation. All I gotta do now is get anything here and now I'm here. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna sit up, I'm gonna go straight in this now. Okay, I wanna go belly down for this series. Belly down, and now I'm gonna stretch. Okay, that thing is horrible. Those with two hands. Okay, so, like I said, that first part, guys, is a good warm up drill for this. We're getting in here. I'm, dra I'm dragging, I'm dragging, it's not working. I'm here, I'm loading him, and now I'm gonna elevate him. Boom. That's all I'm looking for. Because now, I'm gonna kick one leg through. I'm gonna guide his chest over. Boom. I'm gonna lock that ankle. I'm gonna continue my momentum. Belly down. And now I'm gonna stretch. Okay, so another angle. And don't worry, guys, I'm doing some couple angles so you guys can all see this. Here, 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 boom. Under, elevate, boom. Look, kick through. I push him with both hands, I go to that ashi, right? When I get to the ashi, I go to the ankle. Now I'm gonna continue my direction over. Here, look at my arm. My arm's gonna swim, and I'm gonna come up. Right here. Okay, this gets us into our whole entanglement system. For heel hooks, anything else we want. Okay. Here, here, doesn't work. Here, boom, up, elevate, look, boom, here. I stretch it, I'm gonna come straight over. I wanna get all, if I can get up this way, look, we're gonna go WWE, sharpshooter, start, start here, here, Austin Crab, right? Smack in the foot, hit the foot lock, right, whatever you guys want. Okay. Have fun with this stuff. <laughs> hey, so yeah, let me show you something, guys. So here, it's not working. So I'm gonna do my elevation. Loading him up, elevate. Now, I'm gonna put one leg through, I guide him over. I get to the side, okay? I go straight to the ankle, I stretch. But now instead of me sitting back, I'm gonna roll to the side that my uh, chest go down. Here. My foot is keeping his leg pinned, and I'm gonna stretch my body. You're gonna feel that tension point, guys. If you guys wanna sit up, like I said, you can sit up here, sit it that way, and you guys can do whatever you want. Thick as leg hairs, or whatever. And, all right. So. <laughs> Any questions? DJ? Uh, are you finishing it in any different ways? It's, it's safe. Like, I'm being safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. This one is now, we're not laying on the side of it, we're laying on top. Good. Stretch, now go belly down. Stretch. Woo! Yeah. Go belly down, go. One motion. Yes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. Nice. All the way, all the way, all the way. Go. So don't don't do that one first. Stretch. Stretch forward. So you've already released the pressure with your leg when you did that. You want to keep that tight. Now stretch. Just stretch. 
Yeah. The more you're condensed on that on the ankle, it's gonna be it's uh, it's 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 not enough stretching of the of the bone into the ankle uh, part. Stretch. So right when you take right, right when you make that turn, stretch. Go right into it. Let it be smooth and fluid, guys. Stretch. Nice, Roman. Better. Now, I want to see more of a stretch on him, though, before you go belly down. Stretch him forward more. Stretch him. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you weren't doing, CJ. Okay. Didn't do, uh, I don't know. I think my brain has some to do it. Okay, it's new. It's very important, guys. Good. It does. And that's why, like, when you guys do this smooth, now that we're understanding that I can lay down, I can pull this up as one option, right, to get into my Ashi. Now, a lot of the times, I can also elevate. Ooh, into my options, right? But I love I use a knee shield, right? Because now when he goes to move my, my leg, I can drag his arms. Now look what's here, sitting up. Okay, there's tons of options for me from playing those positions. But you have to have a lot of confidence in the control of your your, your butterfly hook. So some of the stuff that we're going to get into this week is that when I start taking angles, boom, it doesn't matter from here, I'm elevating, it doesn't matter, right? So when I slide through and I direct the body, now I'm going to work on getting my entanglements. So this is the key. This is where a lot of people mess up, is this control right here. This is what's really important. Because now I have options whether I'm going for angle lock or heel hook. Actually, or for toe hold. I'm going to fix my toe hold, too. So I've got toe holds. I've got straight ankle locks, I've got heels, all based on what my, my desire is. Okay? A lot of guys try to heel hook this way. There's not enough for the entanglements. But the key for the entanglement can, is the control. Okay? So, so I'm just going to take his leg under. Boom. Here, look at this. All right? The key is my control. I can't throw this leg all the way over unless my control is there. Oh, my toes out. My knee is going across the belly, pushing me forward. This is where I want to be. Because this gives me options. If I do not understand this, guys, then, then I'm already going to lose this position guarantee. There are way too many counterattacks for a guy that attacks the shitty um, uh, leg entanglement. Okay? I know. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of guys that, that have really bad leg entanglements. Or they have, I'll, I'll say, remedial. They'll attack with just the kill in mind, but not paying attention to the control. And if you don't pay attention to the control, this guy is going to counter leg lock you every single time if he has any idea of what he's doing. I'll do this. I'll do this a lot. A lot of times, I'll give people my ankles to see what kind of grip he has. Okay, and if I can feel he doesn't have a solid grip, so don't push straight lock on me. Look, I'll say, okay, okay, great. I can already feel that is not really in a, in a kill position. It might hurt. Okay. But it's still off. So what that's going to tell me is that I can attack his leg. Okay, and straight angle lock versus heel hook. Heel hook's going to win every time if I have confidence in my attack. So like if he goes for that attack and he goes for the finish, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead go finish it. It's a giant cat. Go ahead, finish it. Attack. Okay, so now, see how long that took? So he's going for that, that, that ankle lock on him. He goes for it. Go ahead again. Go. And then I see his ankle. 
and I'm able to lay in this. Now, let's see who finishes first, okay? Ready, go. Wasn't him, right? So based on the bite controls, I can tell if I'm in trouble. Now, I'm not saying you should go with an elite leg locker and be like, hey, carry my foot, let me see how big you are. No, you're gonna lose your knee or lose your ankle. But if you're in a match and you feel a guy grab it and it's not in the position that you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad, at least you know you're gonna put, you have possible options to count. So it's really important for us to understand the controls before we worry about the kills. This is where we wanna be, pinching in my option. My outside option comes around, around the thigh blocks the hip, flat footed. My bottom foot is hooking. My leg is pinching his thigh. And look, I have control of his leg here. Look at my knees. My knees, I'm trying to touch them together. So when I move, my knees don't open. I want my knees to stay touched together the whole time. Then I, okay? If I need to disengage, I can always spread these legs through and disengage to another entanglement. Understanding the control. And that's where our pummeling drill came in to get Understanding these controls. So we're gonna get pretty in depth in this stuff as this week goes on. So this week we're gonna spend a lot of time in entanglement, understanding how to thread. And this is a big deal. Threading, threading, threads. Okay, pay attention to the foot, but I'm more paying attention to what's here. Where his ankle is? The controls. I think CJ is spaced out on us, right? Because that's what it is. A lot of people pay too much attention on the kill. Pay attention to the control. My foot, boom, boom. If my foot is not flat on his chest, that means it's vulnerable for him to attack. Okay, or toe hold or anything else he wants, right? But so what I need to do is that means I need to sit in more. That means I'm too loose. If I can't, hey, boom, right? So the key to understanding the entanglements from the butterfly guard guys is the control. It's understanding that outside Ashi, inside Ashi, uh, figure four, some kaku, whichever one you guys want to like call it or whatever position it is, it's the control. Without the control, your foot locks are going to be garbage. Your leg locks are going to be garbage. I don't care how many people you've tapped. You might have a good sweep, but if you don't understand the control, at the end of the day, it's going to end up being garbage. Does that make sense? Because you want to be able to make sure that you can submit anybody in the world with a foot lock or a leg lock, knee lock, whatever it is. But you're not going to catch the elite guys without understanding the control. So we're spending time with the control and then we're going to get into the breaks. And today we, broke, we, we touched base on those foot locks. Um, it was a little fun, but it was about the control and understanding how to get those options on the hips. Does that make sense to you guys? So if you guys are going to roll and you guys are going to start training with these, I, I, I encourage you. To focus on getting into those Ashi controls. I don't care about the finish. Like, you're gonna fuck that up. And eventually you might be able to get into it and it'll get a little bit better, but get into the controls. That's what you wanna focus on. If you get into five controls in one round, then you've already won that round for the, for the sake of the technicality that you were trying to achieve. When you roll, guys, have that in your mind. What is your goal? Is it to get a finish that you're learning or is it to understand and entangle? And if the entanglement, get in as many entanglements as you possibly can. That way you can start developing. Finishes are gonna come. You can get finishes. Get the positioning down. This is just like us securing a guard back. Get the position down. Right? It's no different. Any questions? And you're saying what you have to buy you for control out. If I don't point my toes, my foot is dormant. I want my heel up or in and my toes up so it's flat on me. If not, if I point my toes, I'm pointing my foot forward. I want it heavy. I want my whole foot to be used as a structure on your foot off. That's the matter. Now, here, go ahead. It's gonna be harder. Oh, there it is, because my foot came off his waist. Now, if he peels his foot off, I put this one on, I bring it right back. Right now, if he peels this one off again, other side. I push back here, boom, hit him here, on my back. 
So understanding these flows are really, really how you're going to be comfortable in this position. You know? So I would say, guys, if you guys do, if you guys want just to drill this stuff, spend some time just offsetting your partners, getting into those Zashi. We have a short class right now. What we're doing is virtual classes, but spend some time really just focusing on getting into those Zashi. Um, I was excited about these positions, but I hope you guys understand how those controls work. Uh, what day is today? Today's day 20, right? Today's uh, uh, CMA Fight Camp day 20. So 10 more days for everybody that is doing the, uh, the CMA Fight Camp. I uh, hope you guys are all on your weight, weight goals closing in on it. We have weigh-ins in 10 days. Uh, I'm excited. You know, I've been running a lot more than I probably have in the last six months. Uh, it's really cool to see everybody sending me videos of them training. Um, Hashtag in the CMA fight camp, and it's really awesome to see everybody uh, continuously keep training during this time. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the stuff that we're doing. We're trying to put out as much content so everybody can keep training uh, and keep doing what we love during this time. I know, I know things are tough, but we are getting through this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, man. I, I promise you, and they're, they're starting to say the gyms are going to be uh, closer and closer to reopening. I know there's probably going to be a lot of um, small stipulations and, and rollout programs, but we are getting there and we are doing this together. So thank you guys for tuning in. Seven o'clock, we have our fitness boxing class and then I will see you tomorrow for the extension of the leg entanglements from Butterfly. Uh, thank you, CJ. Thank you, Roman. Thank you guys at home. Peace.